Hello everyone and welcome back to another indie horror game. This time I'm playing Frostbite Deadly Climate. And if this main menu screen looks ever so slightly familiar to you, well that might be because you watched me play Frostbite a few months ago. And Frostbite, as it turns out, was the prototype for this game, which promises to be a lot more complex and hopefully a lot of fun as well. So uh, yeah, really do hope you enjoy this. If you want to try this out yourselves, I'll leave the link down below in the description and start a new game. Okay. So, three modes. Three very different difficulty modes as well. I suppose I'm going to go for normal. Um, yeah, okay, so it's, it's based on damage and temperature and stuff. That makes a return. Okay, normal it is. Yeah, I seem to remember Frostbite was a game a little bit like cryostasis crossed with the thing. It was kind of cool. My name is Robert. I'm an Arctic biologist who was tracking a polar bear for research until I ended up getting caught in a sudden snowstorm. I'm now lost and what's worse, night has begun to fall. Out of sheer luck, I stumble across a small hut and immediately took shelter in it. However, the hut has no power and without it I'll surely freeze to death. I need to figure out how I'm going to escape this predicament. Okay. Whoa, okay, that is, that is quite a lot of information. Let's just get sort of reacquainted with this. I think it's mostly the same as uh, Frostbite was. Looks like the controls are more or less the same. Okay. So there's uh, one, two, and three for quick use consumables. All right, body temperature, that makes a return. Uh, so it's one for, was it health drink? Do, do heat drinks make a return? And I guess energy drinks as well. Area temperature, now that's interesting. Certain actions such as leaving doors open or breaking a window can cause the percentage of that room's heat to permanently decrease. Okay, so I should avoid trying to break windows and I should close doors when possible. Alright, I think I've got the gist of that, so let's begin the game. Alright. Okay, it's familiar, but yet it looks, you know, quite a lot different, I think. Uh, I think Frostbite was much more pixelated than this. This is a bit more sort of clean and mean. Okay, let's start off by having a look at the map. Right, wow. Uh, oh, I see. Am I in the main hut just to the sort of southwest of Base 75? Base 75. Again, it's familiar, but it's different. There's a lot more rooms, it looks like. A dog kennel? I don't remember a dog kennel being there before. The garage is in the roughly the same sort of place the rooms are. Okay. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. And it's it's M for map, is it? Okay, nice. Heat drink, that does make a return. What have we got here? Loads of things, actually. I've got an audio reel. What the hell's an audio reel about? That's new. Um, oh, look at this. We've got ammo for handgun, rifle, and shotgun. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, so the heat drink, yep. Using this on an audio recorder will allow you to record your progress. Really? Is this like ink for a typewriter, as in like Resident Evil style? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at the uh, ID card, I suppose. For Murphy Patterson, a meteorologist. Who, uh, I guess, stays in room E. Okay, and we have just my luck. Did I walk under a ladder or something? Within just a few days of working at Base 75, I ended up breaking my portable tape recorder. Luckily, the base had a spare tape recorder for me to use, but out of bad luck, it turns out to be an old heavy reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. It's bad enough that my place of work is this hut and not a proper observatory, but now, if I want to record any of my progress, I'll have to make trips to the storage A room. Though, honestly, I ru or I'd rather do that than writing another one of these notes. Okay. Alright, so, storage A, that's where I should head to save? Uh, yeah, okay. Storage A. So that's right by the rooms and the bathroom, and the recreation room. Well, I suppose first things first, I should make my way over there to really explore. Can't open the drawers, no. Anything else here? We have a, we have a gun locker, here we go. Looks like casino slot symbols. So it does. How bloody irritating. Why can't it just be numbers? <laughs> oh well, okay. Um, sure. Well, I've got no idea at the moment. Got anything here? Right, I suppose I'm not really in the mood to use my telescope. No power, of course. I mean, of course. Same situation in Frostbite. Um, yeah, alright, well, let's see if we can make our way out. Better close the door if I want to keep the heat in. Yeah. Okay, so, gotta keep a, a close eye on the bottom right of my screen, really. 
And the bottom left. There's a lot to keep an eye on. Okay, it's open. I don't need a key or anything. So close the door. Okay. Oh god, what happened here? Oh god, is that... Yep, there's a dead guy already. Uh, that axe of yours. Can I, uh... Thank you. <laughs> Was it mouse wheel for that stuff? Yes, okay. Does that take an item slot? Oh, okay, it does. It does, alright. Um, right, okay, so where are we with the office, the kitchen, radio? Sure, well, let's go through room to room and see what we can find. Temperature's going down pretty, you know, rapidly already. I suppose it's because I just crossed over to the main place. Okay. What we got? Radio report log. Uh, during our routine runs, we have found an undiscovered type of organism under the ice. We would like to mention that despite being frozen in the ice, the organism still shows signs of life. Due to this rare phenomenon, some of the staff request that they take the opportunity to study the organism. After much debate and compromises, HQ has granted us permission to study the organism, but we have only till 9 to... Uh, is my... hang on. Is, is my heat going down as I'm reading this? Can I, like... Ah, I can pause it and read it. That might actually help. Uh, so, da -da 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 -da. they'll have someone pick up the organism during our next schedule shipment of supplies. Um, HQ has reported to us that we might be expecting some heavy snow storms within the next couple of days. So they'll be expecting we might not be making some routine reports for a while. Uh, okay. So that's, that's fair enough. What's that down there? Oh, gunpowder. Gunpowder, right. Can be combined with chem fluid to make three handgun bullets. All right, fair enough. Okay, we've got another one of these. This one's for James Hawkins, the radio operator, who stays in room D. Um, don't know if I want to, you know, make note of these numbers or not, to be honest. I... Oh, I'm not sure. Don't know. Uh, plan radio report again. Yeah, I'm just going to pause it. Just It's kind of cheating in a way, I guess, but I don't know. My temperature is going down a lot, and who knows how many heat drinks I'm going to find here. Anyway, until we regain radio communication, I'll write this report down. Uh, report that during the snowstorm, our generator retained some damage. We are still able to use the generator, but we must ration our power usage, or we may risk overheating the generator. Okie dokie. Can't open this, no. Nothing over here. Oh, hang on. It's useless without power. All right. Well, we do obviously need to get some power on, don't we? Uh, okay. Let's leave. So, are we in this? Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. It actually updates it on the map. Yeah, we're in the, the southwest corner of it. Okay. Well, let's head up to the, uh, the kitchen then, I suppose. Okay, that's locked. The office? Also locked. Right. Shall I just do a sort of inventory of all these rooms and, and see what happens? <laughs> Even in here it's freezing. I really can't stay here too long. You're right. I remember seeing a notification board just like this in the other one. Left your keys. Let's see. Uh, Murphy, I found your room key in the bathroom again. You have to stop this habit of forgetting your keys. Maybe you don't care if anyone gains access to your room, but I don't think I need to remind you that you are sharing a room with another person, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't like the idea of people getting access to his things. Okay. Return my screwdriver? <laughs> okay. Uh, Ashley, I don't know if you recall, but I lent you one of my screwdrivers a while back. And while it's still no rush, I would really appreciate you returning it. Just put it on my work table in the garage when you get around to it. And that's from Daniel. Okay. So the important parts, it seems, are highlighted. So you don't necessarily have to read everything like I'm doing. So you don't necessarily have to pause it and everything. You just have to look out for the keywords. Um, I suppose I'll be wanting a screwdriver, for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, and uh, what about this one? Lockers. Uh, to the staff members of Base 75. We understand the issues of not only having to share a bedroom with another member, but also having to put up with a co-ed bathroom. It does remove a level of privacy you were probably used to. While we can't provide you any service to give you more privacy, we have provided you guys uh, with a set of lockers. Any personal items that you're uncomfortable leaving in your cooperative bedroom can be placed in these lockers for safekeeping. Take note that you'll be provided with a padlock and key for your locker, but you'll not be provided with any spares, so be sure to not lose your locker key. Uh, apparently, cheap-ass padlocks, you can lockpick them with little effort. Okay. I was actually wondering if I could just, like, smash them with this. Does that use... Oh, it actually does use stamina, as you can see in the bottom left. Uh, okay. The, uh, the bathroom, then? Okay. Are there any keys in here, I wonder? Maybe that guy's been leaving keys. What's that down there? Is that... Oh, that's that's something new. Spicy spice. Spicy spice can be combined with chem fluid to make a heat drink. Cannot be used on its own. All right. Yep, sure. 
Okay, well, we found a key. I guess this is the guy's. Yeah, room E key. And room E is what? Middle one on the right, up the corridor. Okay. Couple of showers. Is that an egg? No? Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, an energy drink. Great. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's a bar of soap. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why would there be an egg in a bathroom? Can I? Oh, Alex. If you just put this in the game for me, you know me too well. <laughs> if you didn't, I mean, whatever. Anything to... Oh, shit, there is! We got okay, that's a lock pick. Right, okay. A tool for opening simple locks. One use only. All right, so... It mentioned... Oh, I see. These are the lockers, are they? Right, yeah, so... Chief has padlocks. Right, well, there's quite a few lockers. There's quite a few people staying here, I guess. Uh, I wonder if the screwdriver's in one of these. Uh, let's choose this one here. So, do you just drag it, or... Double-click seems to do it. Uh, okay. Couple of things. Okay, I get two bullets. Two bullets which actually, uh... Don't take up any slots, which is quite nice. And sweet spice. Again, if I find chem fluid, I can make a health drink. Can't be used on its own. Okay. But yeah, that was a one-use kind of thing. Never mind, never mind. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose let's close this up, just in case. I should probably make a habit of closing doors when I go through them. Room D, already open. Okay. In here. Okay. That's a nice effect as well. I'm shivering because it's so damn cold. I should probably use one of those health drinks, actually. Shotgun ammo there. What's this? Frost is already forming on the jacket. Yeah, and on me. <laughs> what about the other side? Yep, that works. And we've got spicy spice. Okay, some more of this stuff. I need to find some of this chem fluid stuff. What's this? Rifle ammo? Yep. Okay, I, I can't take any of... Is that J John Wolfe's whiskey? <laughs> That's um, uh, harshly critical, right? Okay, um, just bear with me a sec. I think it was two. I don't want to make a mistake, though. I think it was two for heat. Yeah, okay, cool. So, two. Oh, and that goes straight from the bottom right to the top as well. So that does the max it can. That's great. Okay, so uh, we're feeling pretty good right now. Okay, room A is locked. Room E, that's the one I've got the key for, isn't it? Yes, it is. What's in room E? No broken windows, I hope, no. But we do have Lab A key. That's cool. And they only sense heat. Alright, I'm gonna cheat again, I'm afraid. Uh, if anyone finds... If anyone find finds... <laughs> if anyone finds this note, and I didn't make it out of this, I want you to know that I didn't go down without a fight. We discovered a parasitic organism under the ice, and brought it back to our base for studying. However, despite our best efforts to contain it, the organism somehow was able to infect most of the staff, turning them into monsters. I can't tell you much about these things, other than they appear to lack much intelligence, and they sense your body temperature. They can't see or hear you, but the warmer you are, the easier it is for them to detect you, even if you're in another room. So if you want to be invisible to these things, you better take the risk of hypothermia. Ah, okay. I don't think I really want to do that, because I'm pretty sure my, uh, my health would go down pretty rapidly. Okay. That's the Nigel Carpenter. Roomy, that makes sense. Frost forming on the jacket again, I guess it's just going to keep saying that. What about the other one? What's this? Oh, this is the chem fluid stuff, is it? Uh, okay. Well, I suppose if it's anything like Frostbite, you know, the, the prototype, it's going to be heat that's the killer rather than anything else. So let's combine. There's a double click thing, is it? Ah, I see. So, oh, right. So the. The highlighted ones are the things I can combine it with. So, uh, yeah, spicy spice. Making a heat drink. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, already I'm actually quite impressed by the uh, adjustments that have been made since the prototype. This is, this is pretty cool. I like this. Room B. Room B, again, open. Let's close this one behind me, though. All right. Oh, hello. Found a handgun. And some more handgun ammo. Right, so if I just scroll... Right, okay. Is that another heat drink as well? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Ethan Stone, biologist staying in room B. Okay. Looks like he may have written something down as well. I always thought James was a caring and smart lad, but I guess once the shit hits the fan, his true intelligence and selfishness is revealed. 
After our meeting about either a possible evacuation or quarantine, James just went every man for themselves. He took both keys to the snowcats and tried to use one of them to escape. Of course, <clears throat> he needed to bring power back to the garage door, so he just brought power to all sections of the base, leading to the generator to overheat. Luckily, the power cable burned and a fuse blew before the generator could. Though karma got to him. He crashed the snowcat just a few feet from the base and the garage door was closed, so he got locked out. He hasn't made his way back to the base. Either he's terrified to confront us, or the worst happened to him. Whatever the case, if we want to use the snowcat to escape, we must retrieve those keys. I've got to go get those keys then, I suppose. Somewhere outside. Oh fucking joy. Looking forward to that. Um, yeah, okay. Anything else down here? What's that? Scrunched up bit of paper, is that? Okay, that's not relevant, I guess. Can't open these drawers, nothing tucked down here. No, okay. Yep, yeah, let's just uh, keep on moving, I suppose. Okay, room C, room F. That one's locked, as is that one. That isn't, though. Okay, so let's just have a look at the map again. So I've gone up the left side. Okay, so if I'm looking at the sort of plan in the bottom right of the map, if I head out of this door, I could make it to the fuel tank and the generator. That's like the closest other building. And there's the storage shed over to the right. Okay. Well, let's stay in base 75 for the time being and collect, you know, other things. So, lab A key, I suppose. Yeah, I could use that. Um, I actually want to go back here, though, to be honest. Because I think just round here is storage A. Right, right. This is apparently where I can save. Hang on, was that? Oh, yeah, there's something hidden there. Ah. Because my inventory's full, I see. So how do we drop stuff? Don't really want to use anything, you see. Um, again, I'm just going to look at how to play, I'm afraid. I actually don't see a drop button. Maybe you don't drop stuff in this? Maybe I'm sort of screwed because I just picked up everything I saw to begin with. Oh, that's kind of strange. So I can't pick any of that up without using something else. I don't know what I want to use. I mean, if I had chem fluid, I could use the gunpowder or something. Storage locker. Oh, oh, okay, fine. If we don't drop stuff, maybe we just put stuff in here, right? So hold on. Sweet spot. Yes, that's it. That's it. Um, well, I've got I've got this revolver. So let's put the hatchet away. Audio reel. I see the audio recorder down there. Actually, I don't know if I want to use it though. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do this in one video. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll put the spicy spice away as well. Keep the gunpowder, maybe. Yeah, I think that's good for the time being. Seems pretty nice. So, yeah, what was the other stuff? So, there's chem fluid. Let's use that chem fluid right now on uh, the gunpowder. Right, so, that makes another three rounds. That's pretty cool. We've got more spicy spice. Yep. Yeah. Let's grab all of this. Is that pretty much it? Save system, okay. Um, yeah, I'll put that away. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Nice though, nice. I like that. This is cool. This is, I guess, the safe room. Although, <laughs> I don't know how long it stays safe. Okay, so we got the, uh, the rec room. The hallway is blocked. So it is. Uh, very creatively as well. <laughs> Right, well, let's have a look at the rec room, I suppose. Alright, well, I'm surprised there's still stuff in here, really. <laughs> we got a, uh, a cryostasis arcade game. I suppose I can play that. I suppose the power's out, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Handgun ammo. Very nice. Okay, someone's playing darts. Pool. Bit of chess over there. Nothing hidden under the table. What about the pool table? No. Okay. Ah, there's something down here, though. Energy drink. Great. What's that? Rage Select, Marshall Dyer. There might be a few references that I just... Oh, nice. <laughs> Shotgun ammo. Might be a few references I just don't get. I don't know. That might be someone other people know, but not me, I'm afraid. So nothing on the shelf? No. Okay. Uh, well, Lab A then, I suppose. This is the only, only place to go. So, there you go. Right. Yeah. This looks a lot like the one that was in Frostbite. What's this? More ammo! Fantastic! 
Right, what? Oh. Ah, we've got some cupboards down here. Can they all be opened? Oh, man. They're not loads of heat drinks. Oh, I'm slightly disappointed in that. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Chem fluid. Nice. Okay, a rifle round. Sure. Just looking for anything that stands out, really. Like another energy drink. And they don't stack, do they? No, none of them, none of them stack, unfortunately. It's a very sort of realistic inventory system in that sort of sense. My pockets are only so big. Oh, what was that? That might be some more of that spicy spice, yeah. Over here. Yeah, these work as well. Those are beakers and test tubes and stuff. And shotgun rounds, of course. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I expect to find in a lab. Here too. Yeah, okay. Heat drink, lovely. Might be overdoing it, actually. Um, I'm already sort of full. Um, let's put some of this back, shall we? Since it's just across the way. Um, yeah, again, let's just get rid of that. Uh, I'll keep three heat drinks on me, I suppose. Maybe put one energy drink away. I'm keeping a pretty good hold of my stamina right now. I don't know if I'll really need to use those. Although I suppose maybe when I'm outside, running outside, I, you know, don't want to spend too long out there. Right, so we're on the other side now, are we? Great. Close the door. The hell is that? Got lab B, that's locked. Infirmary, that isn't. It Ooh, hang on. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, this, this wasn't until the end of the game last time. Are you dead? Oh, bloody... Nice ragdoll. Oh, and you're gone. Okay. So no uh, no looting the bodies or anything. Well, fair enough. Uh, right, let's get in here. Close the door. 37% in this room. That's not too bad, I suppose. Who's this? Ashley. Ashley Young is the doctor. Okay. And she had a shotgun shell. No shotgun, though? Was she the first victim? Possibly. Possibly. Can I have a look at... Hang on yet. Yeah. Eye chart. Okay, well, I can see all the symbols, so I guess my eyes are okay. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird way to do it. Usually it's letters, but okay. I'm really, really shaking. Let's grab two more of those. Ca caffeinated spice? Oh, of course. Right, okay, for the energy drinks. That makes sense. More gunpowder. Loads of stuff. Rifle ammo. I need to find these other guns. Anything? Oh, hang on. Uh, anything under the... Okay, nothing under the pillow, but there's an energy drink down here. Are we full again? Yeah, we're full again. Shit. So there's that. Okay, fair enough. Right. I guess this is another external door. This one's blocked. Oh, because of the snow, it looks like. Fair enough. Still no power, of course. Uh, the garage, right. Locked. Maybe there's another way to get inside. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Um, well, the garage door itself would be at the southeast, that large door. There's one to the northeast of the room, though, it looks like. Past the dog kennel, okay. Now, what about this door to Lab B? Maybe it's just that one that was locked. No, okay. So what have we got? The dog kennel and storage B. Let's have a look at storage B. Is this another place to save, I wonder? <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, well, I can pick up the ammo, but I can't pick up the rifle itself. Oh, that kind of sucks. Although, I will be able to because I'm about to use a heat drink. Right. Does it just take one slot? Yes, it does. And there it is. This is pretty cool. I'm actually very impressed with this game. Well done, Alex. If you're watching this, well done. Sincerely, this is, this is impressive. What's that around there? Oh, not something, I think. Arcade machine manual, right. The cryostasis one, right. Yes, it's the marquee monitor control panel. Yep. Ah! <laughs> CJU Games. I like it. Nice little nice little mention. That's very cool. Oh, man. This is now my favorite game ever. <laughs> um, yeah. The only thing is, I would like the ability to drop stuff again, though. Just, just so I could pick up some chem fluid, use some stuff, and then re-pick that stuff up. You know what I mean? So there's a load of stuff here. I'll just have to come back. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. The dog kennel? What happened to the dogs? Oh, shit. Who let the dogs out? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so 
this, yeah. this block just like the other one. Ooh. That dog didn't come to life, did it? No. But maybe there's one out there. I don't know. Hey there, boy. Poor thing. Poor thing indeed. What's that? Is that... A oh! That's a fucking lock! But God damn it! Uh, fuck. You know what? I've got to go back. I've got to go back to store some more stuff. And then I will guess I'll go outside? Oh, shit. Nope. Wrong one. Oh, man. I, I made it a rule to sort of close doors behind me. I haven't been very good with that, I don't think. I've been doing a lot of them, but I've been missing a few of them out. Storage A. Yeah, I've got to keep my heat up, really. Uh, so what do I want to put away? Oh, I don't know. Let's get rid of one of these. Two of these, actually. Uh, do I need both weapons? I might. I don't know. Let's put the handgun away, though, for the time being. That's probably okay. Let's bring some chem fluid out. Although the chem fluid... Is it just... It's just handgun bullets that make it. Can't make shotgun shells or rifle rounds or anything like that. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's use one of these then instead. Yeah, might be a bit overkill, but at the rate I go through games, you know, I'm pretty slow. I want to last as long as possible. That's probably the way to do it. Right. Let's go towards that bark that I heard outside. Shit. Okay. Can we go around here? Ah, hang on. Yes, we can. And it's open! Right! This is it, isn't it? It's a snowcat. I can use it to escape this place. Can you really? Can you really? What's this? Okay. Another health drink. I'll grab that. Sure. Was there something down there? Is that... Okay, it's more gunpowder. I don't know if I want to grab that, really. I'll grab the handgun ammo itself, though. More chem fluids. Yeah, I guess I should. Another one. Okay. Thought I ha I am hearing something. Very faintly. Ah, there is someone moving around the room! Hello! Is that a hit? That was certainly a hit. Woo! Shit, okay. This is a pretty powerful weapon, it looks like. Did I close the door behind me? I mean, this is... This, yeah, this is 44. This is actually pretty good. I guess i got to make sure I don't shoot out any windows when I'm shooting at those guys. Another audio reel. Yeah, I'm trying to do this without saving, so I'll ignore that. Electric section layout. Oh, goodness me. Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F. I can't really make heads or tails of that at the moment. Garage door system. Uh, to the staff members of Base 75, for safety reasons, we must tell you about the features of the garage door system that have been installed in the base. 1. Because the door takes up 90% of the wall, the door has been designed to withstand almost any harsh condition. Not even a snowcat can blow through the, uh, <laughs> the garage door. Uh, also, to prevent the doors from being left open or requiring a member, a member to stay put at the base, the door is built with an automatic timer. If nothing happened within a set time, the door will close automatically. 3. Every vehicle will have a remote control to the garage door. If there is no one at the base to open the doors, be sure to use the remote. Okay, good stuff. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, oh, one of the screwdrivers is missing. The one I probably need for something, right? Okay, yeah. Now what's this? Gunman's... Ah, Gunman's Casino. Is that that locker back at the hut? Oh, hang on. This I'm definitely going to write down. Gunman's Casino, okay. Uh, so it's... What, tomato, seven, and then watermelon? Tomato, seven, and watermelon. Okay, fair enough. Sure. Anything under here? No, I don't think so. So, I won't be able to drive this without the key. And the key resides outside, somewhere beyond that door, I suppose. That's it. Yeah, that's for the garage door. I can't open it without power, of course, but yeah, that's just the same as Frostbite. Look at all this. Oh, room A key. Henry Robertson's uh, employee ID. More shotgun ammo. Electric cable. Okay. I got bad, good news, and more bad news. Bloody hell. Okay. The bad news is, despite all the cleaning and removing the damaged areas of the electrical cable, uh, it is too badly damaged for me to repair it. 
The good news is, I believe we have another one of those electrical cables that we can use to fix the generator. The more bad news is that the electric cable is located on top of the radio tower, which means someone must risk the storm and try to retrieve it, and removing it will disconnect the radio. So even if we get the power back on, we still will not be able to radio for help. Bugger. Right, and this is the cable, is it? Well, it's the, the, the damaged one, the one we have to replace. Oh, joy. Ooh, look at that. Can we go up? It, ooh, something's going on. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, Look, looking up doesn't actually help you go up ladders, it seems. Just looking straight on seems to do the job. Whoa! Okay, that might need a little bit of work, actually. That seems a bit strange. We can, we can get on top of the snow cat, I suppose, and pick up a... Oh, god damn, we can pick up another lockpick. What's this? Sweet spice. Ah, oh, shit. Rifle ammo, I guess. Well, that's nice. Oh, man. Uh, can I use some of this? I, I guess i got to use this, right? Yeah. Let's pick up that lockpick and let's go back to the lockers, maybe. Wait, is that another one? Oh, shit, it is. Uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll come back. I, I'll try and remember where that is. If I need it, I'll come back here. Uh, right. Oh, we can unlock it from the other side now. That's nice. That's very nice. Looks like if I want to escape this place, I'll need to get power back to the garage. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. I need to find the cable on top of the radio tower. Where's the radio tower? I see the radio room. On top of it, maybe? It's not a separate entity on the exterior map. It's got to be part of the base. Shit, okay. Uh, right, so we've pretty much gone to every every room now. So what was that key for? Room A. It's the key to room A. So just up here. So double click. There you go. I'm getting used to this now. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, you come out here so I won't shoot the window. There you go. There you go. Ooh, lovely. This is a powerful, powerful weapon. Gunpowder here. Okay. Couple of things. Strange note. I center my eyes on rows one, three, and five. I wonder what this means. Uh oh. The eye test, I think. Yeah, I might pay a visit to uh well, I don't know where it was. The dead woman on the floor. That was where it was. I think it was the infirmary. Electric layout problem. Okay. I would like to report about base seventy five about base seventy five's electric system. Not too long ago we needed to shut off the power to the exterior section of the base to repair an outside light, but by doing so, we shut off the power to the entire base. It appears that all the interior sections of the base are connected to the exterior section. I thought the whole point of the base power being broken up into sections was so if one section's power needed to be shut off, the entire base won't be affected. I feel like this is a serious issue we need to fix as soon as possible. Sounds like it, really. Oh, more stuff I can't pick up. There's loads of it. Um... Yeah, okay. Alright. Open the lockbox. That's my new objective. Open the lockbox. Well, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can definitely do that. But first, let's go back to storage A and let's sort of reconfigure our stuff. So, don't really need that. Don't really want that at the moment. Lockpick I'll use in a moment. Gunpowder, that can go away. I'll bring this back out, though, because I've got a load more bullets for the handgun, you see. Um, yeah. There you go. That works for me. Uh, okay. Potluck, I suppose. Which one's it going to be? This one down here? Looks good to me. Okay, an energy drink and some more gunpowder. Right, I suppose that's... You know, they're both going to be in, in the cabinet now. Uh, or certainly the gunpowder. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, this way, I want to say? Yeah, it, it was the infirmary, I'm pretty sure. So, around the blockage of the hallway. Oh, come on, my stamina's failing me. Yeah, the temperature of this base has gradually been going down, despite my efforts not to shoot windows and close doors and stuff. 
Left this one open, of course. I don't know if that really helps. Don't think I've seen a broken window quite yet, but I'd like to keep it that way. So what was it? I sensed my eyes on one, three, those one, three, and five. Okay, well, I'm assuming if it's, it's, the star is the first symbol. And then three, what, the three lines? If it's the middle one of one, three, and five, it's that, and then it's the diamond afterwards. Let's try that. Where's the star? There it is. Okay, and then there's three lines that look a little bit like that, and then there's a diamond. Right. Right. Okay, what's in there? Oh, it's the key. It's, a, it's an office key. And another another card for an Alex, an Alexander Porter. Right, room A. Again, the ID numbers. I haven't really been paying attention to the ID numbers. I really hope that doesn't bite me in the arse. And then some money as well. Okay, well, it's the office we want to go to, isn't it, really? Got two heat drinks. I should be okay. I should be okay. The office, right. There you go. No one in here? No, I don't think so. Some crumpled up paper, sure. Let's close the door. 47 in here, nice. Okay, the room F key. And what seems to be a kitchen key as well. Okay, and we got a logbook too. Henry and Daniel have given me the rundown about the current situation with the generator. Basically, we have three tasks that we need to take care of to get the base up and running again. First, we need to fix or replace the power cable. Of course, Henry is already working on that task. Uh, second, replace the blown fuse with the spare. If I recall, we used the spare for something, but I can't recall for what. Well, I did see mention of a fuse on that arcade machine. I need to have a look at that again. Uh, third, someone should head to the storage shed and grab some motor oil. Daniel had to drain the generator of oil to fix it, and we won't be able to start it up if it has no oil. Once we get the generator running again, we better be sure to only power up only two sections of the base anymore, and we would just end up overheating the generator again. Okay, so yeah, we don't want that to happen. So there's the power cable. That's the radio tower thing. There's the fuse, which might have something to do with the arcade. And then there's the storage shed, which we've, uh, which we've yet to go to, and the motor oil, right. Okay, anything else to read? Didn't I see something else down here? I guess it was just the key. So we've got two keys, room F and the kitchen. Open the drawers, no. What about over here? Can we, oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, we can open a couple of them. Ah, here we go, the caffeinated spice. I guess I'll grab everything I can and put everything that I don't use into the storage room. I'm starting to shake again, I really am. Right, I, uh, I need to use another one. There you go. This is actually pretty tense. You've really got to keep an eye on so many things. Uh, right, okay. Of course, I want to go back as well, don't I? What was it? Tomato 7 watermelon. Okay, yeah. But I can't do it now because if there's anything in there, I can't pick it up. So, yeah, storage 8. Shit. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles doing this. Uh, loads of energy drinks in here. Uh, I guess we won't need the kitchen key or room F key at the moment because I'm going back out. Um, might make another heat drink though because I'm going back out, yeah. There you go. Put those away. We don't have any more chem, do we? That's a bit of a shame. Health drink again, I'm going to put one away just in case. Uh, yes, okay. Let's see if we can get back to, uh, to where we started and open that locker. It was this way, right? This is- Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> we got joints bending in ways they probably shouldn't bend. Go on. Close the door, close the door. Okay, 41. 41% in here. Alright, so let's try this again. Uh, so... Oh, which was it? Oh shit, I don't know which one it was. I wrote down tomato. Okay, uh, yeah. That one. Seven, there you go. And then that one. That's not it. It might have been that one instead. It was! Okay, alright. <laughs> I got the wrong fruit, I think. And here we are. We have the shotgun and shotgun ammo as well. Alright, so let's go down to that. Reload. We've got a load of shotgun shells. I suppose this is a pretty good weapon. I made a special effort to come here, you know, so... Actually, let's close this off. Okay, so we're at the main hut. I need to get to that storage shed, don't I? Um... 
I suppose I should go back to the base. I should go to the dog kennel and go through that door. Okay, yep. Yeah. Probably best to get everything we need before we go over to the, uh, the to the generator. So, back we go. Okay, 26%. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. Mm. Let's deal with the keys, though, to start with. Truth be told, I was expecting to find a, a you know a little bit more in that locker. The shotgun's nice, though, I'm sure. Right, so the kitchen, that was one of them. Here we are, then. Oh, hello. You gonna come to life? Yep. Step away from the window. Oh, for fuck! What? Okay, well, it's a shotgun. I guess I should have thought about that. Oh, my God. Die already, man! Seriously! Shit, okay, big boy. Oh, okay, well... That's that's broken, right? Yeah, that's certainly broken. We, we can't stay in this room for long. Let's close close the door so it doesn't, you know, spread. Okay, what do we got? Meal schedule. Okay, I guess that's not too important, really, but... Nice little detail either way. Simon West is the cook. Okay. Hint for the shed. If you want to get into the storage shed, just wait till dinner. Well, dinner's there. At 7.35pm. Maybe it's some other... Combination. Maybe it's a food combination. <laughs> Maybe it's roast chicken, meatloaf, and pizza. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's go back to the game, though. Alright. Okay, we've got cupboards here. Can I open all of them? I uh, fucking hope so. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No drawers, but... Oh, another one! Got oh, room C key. Okay, hang on, hang on. I need to put some stuff back. Uh, so, yeah, here... Uh, yeah, chem fluid can go away. The handgun, I guess, could probably go away, or maybe the shotgun. Oh, save the shotgun for something else, I don't know. Uh, yeah, 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 that's okay at the moment, I think. In here, again, close the damn door, fuck. Yeah, look at this room, it's zero percent. Right, I've got to take that key. Anything down here? I'm shaking so badly. It's going to affect my health very, very soon. And it has, so I'm pressing two. There you go. Got a health drink, though. More handgun ammo, great. Even though I think I just wasted that, actually, because I don't think we can pick up more than 15, but... There you go. Caffeinated spice, yep. Nothing else, no? Okay, we're leaving. We're unlocking the door, we're closing it. It should be better on this side. Oh, 9%! It's not great! Okay, what was the other one? Okay, we've got room C and room F. Let's do them together. Might as well, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, 9% out here. Room C... Oh, both of the ones at the end, right? Yeah, okay. So, room C. No one in here? Good, good, good. Let's close the door. 44%. I love it. Susan Palmer, another geologist. Uh, room C, okay. Shotgun ammo. Again, frost forming on the jacket. More chem fluid. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No lock boxes or anything. Can't open the suitcase or the drawers. What was that? Ah, another one! Oh, lab, this is lab B key. Okay. Was that Mr. Uh, Mr. Craven and Jim Sterling now get a mention? <laughs> Quite a lot of little shout-outs. And hey, that's the guy I just took out, right? The dog handler. Francis Turner. He was the one that took five rounds to the face. Well done, sir. Well done. All right, let's move on to room F. Uh, there it is. Okay, oh, all right. Step away from the windows. That was terrible. That was also terrible. That was all pretty bad. Oh boy. <laughs> did that do it? That did not do it. Oh God, I'm going back round, shit. Oh my God, I cannot aim for the head today. I know there's a big old difference in damage if you do aim for the head. That's why I'm, I'm aiming for it, but oh, I'm I'm beginning to regret it. Ow. Okay, oh, you're finally down. Right, that, that handgun's going away. It's got to, I think. I know I've got a load of gunpowder and stuff, but I don't have too much chem fluid, really, so that, yeah. Uh, 
Maybe the rifle's coming back out. Uh, oh, shit, wrong button. Yeah, five rounds, I suppose. Oh, so, so cold! Rather foolishly, I'm going to wait until my health goes right to the very bottom and then use a health kit. Hopefully that'll sort of help me save on my, uh, my heat drinks. Right, so what do we got here? Ah, oh, this is it! This is the Starhead screwdriver and some rifle ammo as well. That's not bad. A lockpick, great, great, great. And a diary entry. Okay, before I die, I'm going to pause and, <laughs> and read this. Okay, dear diary. This must be a nightmare. This can't be real. A few hours ago, I went to check up on Ashley when I was confronted with... I don't know what. It looked like Simon, but his body was covered in a thick layer of ice. What's worse is that I could swear I could hear uh, muffled voices coming from that thing. Almost like Simon was frozen inside that thing and he was crying for help. That thing could have killed me. If Francis didn't push it aside and help me uh, get down the hall, uh, the guys just put up a makeshift barricade in the middle of the hall to protect ourselves, but I honestly don't feel safe and I don't feel like I can trust even the members on this side of the barricade. I've now locked myself in my room and all I can hear now is Francis yelling about the dogs and Nigel and Alexander arguing about the rest of the group. I just hope that I just wake up from this nightmare and when I look at you, I'll be happy to find the entry missing. Right, okay. And what's that? Some stuff I can't pick up. Heather Burns, yep. Okay, this side. Nothing on this side. No, that's okay. I got the screwdriver though. Uh, that could help with the generator, I suppose, couldn't it? No, don't, don't open that door. Holy shit. You know what? I'm actually going to use a health drink because that heart symbol is very low. Got to use both. Right. Picked up a lockpick and I'm going to choose uh, this one. Bottom left. Shotgun rounds. And some more chem fluid, it looks like. Okay. That's pretty nice. I wonder if... Was that inspired by, like, The Evil Within or something, which I just recently finished? <laughs> I kind of hope so, in a way. Same kind of idea. Right. Can be used to remove Starhead screws. Uh, I guess I'll keep a hold of it just in case. Uh, am I lacking anything? I mean, let's grab some more of that. There you go, another heat drink. <sighs> I wasted so much ammo on that stupid kill, fuck. Uh, so it's round here, isn't it? That's where Lab B is. Yeah, so there it is. Right, ah, ah, shit! Fucking hell, scared the crap out of me! Oh boy, here we go. Uh, you alright? Oh my god, I am just... I'm, I'm shaking all over the place. Oh my god. Oh shit, this is not going to be very good. Oh, unlimited? Oh, okay, so that's what that's for. Oh, it's... Yeah, I can just sprint for ages then. Okay. Right, well, very quickly. <laughs> I'm just going to pull out the shotgun. Oh, crap. Always get that fucking button wrong. There we are. Oh, that's that's the right one, isn't it? I mean, the shotgun's definitely worth it. Ah, oh, missed so many shots with the others, though. Shit. Um, okay. Yeah, let's go back to Lab B. I mean, again, so very cold. I think destroying that window was such a mistake. Okay, what do we got here then? We oh, what's this? C thirty four chloride solution, and that can melt ice almost instantly. Is that for an enemy? Might be. Um, okay, the lab B reports the samples that Nigel and Ethan have given me to examine are quite fascinating. It seems that C thirty four produces a chemical compound that has similar properties to liquid nitrogen, but rather than just freezing the infected organism, it converts it so it can stay alive and active even when it's in freezing cold temperatures. However, the chemical has a side effect. It appears that when the infected organism dies, a chemical reaction occurs and the chemical compound becomes more like uh, calcium chloride, only way stronger. This is what causes the dead organism in C34 to dissolve away in seconds. Right, so that's why the enemies disappear. All right. Uh, the reason this happens remains unknown to me, but hopefully in further studies I find out why. I convert the chemical compound into a liquid solution that I'm calling C34 chloride solution for the time being. Uh, I still need to do some tests, but so far, this chemical might be a replacement for common ice melt. Okay, there you go. 
Anything in here? I'm hoping to find more heat drinks and stuff, honestly. There's more handgun ammo. Need everything I can take right now. Sweet spice, yep, sure. Ah, oh, lovely heat drink. That is that is the nectar of the gods right now. There you go. I already had one, but it's nice to get some spares, isn't it? What about in here? Gunpowder, yep. And again, unlocking the door. Okay. Okay, are we actually better off in here? We are. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna have to go outside to the fuel tank, the generator, the storage shed. I'm gonna have to find a way to the radio tower somehow. I don't really know where that is. I'm just looking to the, to the east, or you know, the right side of the dog kennel. There's a symbol which I can only assume is a ladder, and I saw that ladder on the floor as I was going for the, uh, the northeast garage door. There's another one next to the bathroom on the west side of the base. How do I get to that? Do I go out near the rooms, or do I go out near the radio room? I don't know. I'm honestly not sure. Anything else here? Don't think so. Yeah, it's very, very thick snow outside. Have I got... Yeah, I've got another energy drink. Okay. Again. Gotta fiddle around with the inventory. This is a lot like Resident Evil in that sense. Oh, shit. Why'd I leave the door open? Ah. Uh, yeah, that can go. That can go for the meantime. I'm keeping hold of the screwdriver and the chloride solution because you never know, you know? You know what? Before I go outside, let's check on that arcade machine again. It's not only next door. Made by me, apparently. So let's see. Alright. Ah, hang on, yes. Looks like I need a star head screwdriver to unscrew this panel. This is what it's for. Okay, so, yep. Perfect. And that's the fuse. Right, that's the fuse. That's the fuse that we need to, uh, to start the generator up again, right? Okay. That's what they did with the spare one. That's cool, that's cool. Um, okay, I'm just going to put that away in my locker. I'll come get that later on. Uh, yeah, I need to go... I need to go to the storage area to get the gas. And then the radio tower. Christ. Fuck, this is, this is pretty difficult. i got two heat drinks. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, I can't get out of this one, can I? No, I can't, I can't. Ah, oh, shit, okay. Well, let's do this quickly. Let's close this up, and we're, uh, we're off. We're off to the races. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is a badass shotgun. It just deforms them completely. Right, so this is... Uh... Oh, fuck's sake, it must be running off of the battery, right? So I don't need to worry about the power before going in here. What was it? The dinner? The pit? Oh, the... What was the fucking time? I don't know what the time was, I can't remember. It was seven something. Where did I see that? Where did I see that? It was in the kitchen, wasn't it? And that's on the other side. Oh man, why didn't I write this down? I usually I'm I'm pretty good at writing stuff down usually. Oh man. Oh, that's really rough. It's so freaking chilly in here because oh, it's this room as well. 7.35, that was it. Oh, God, I could have guessed that, probably. Close it, yeah, okay. Oh! Look at how rapidly that's going down. I need to do this so quickly now. I don't know if I'll be able to do this in one run. Maybe I'll need to come back later, I don't know. So through here, yeah. Come on. No stamina because it's so cold. Just follow the lights though, right? It's out here somewhere. There it is, there it is. Okay, come on. 7.35. Yes, that's it, that's it. Okay, open the door and close the damn door. Holy shit. Right, oh, hello. Oh, you know what? This is not the time. This really isn't. Oh, oh my god, I almost smashed the window. That's got quite a wide spread, that shotgun. Oh, God, shit, God damn it. Step away from the window, I really, I, I mean, 33%, that's the best I'm going to get right now, right? Come over here. I, oh. Come 
Come on, that's a headshot. Whoa! Diving backflip. I love it. Chem fluid. Okay. Right. There we go. There we go. Spicy spice. Rifle rounds. Good, good, good. It's not really what I'm after, though. All that. I love the heat drink. Lovely. Nothing in the pig? No, nothing in the pig. <laughs> Where's this oil? Ah, is that it? Motor oil! That's the one, that's the one. Okay, so I've got the motor oil. And I've got the, uh, I've got the fuse. Just need to get the cable. Energy drink, right. Um... Is that it? Is that what we're gonna find here? I guess so. Oh no, no, there's another lock pick. There we go, there we go. That could be pretty good. That could be pretty beneficial to me. Right, close it and run, run. Should have the stamina to get back in one. I do, I do. It's just a shame that this is now on two fucking percent. Shit, okay, right, well. Okay, all right. I'm kind of panicking as you can probably tell on my voice, but I'm gonna see what I can do at the generator already and maybe see if I can find the radio tower on the way. I have no fucking idea. So, let's take the fuse. Let's take everything we might need. Uh, what pick, I guess. There might be something cool in there. Let's try this one. Ah, uh, rifle ammunition, sweet spice and spicy spice. Yeah. Not making the best of choices in that sense, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep that with me because I've got to use it somewhere, right? No trial. Uh, do I go back to the handgun? Hmm. Oh my god, what am I fucking doing? There we go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Again. It's, uh, it's the health that's going down, not the heat meter. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Oh, gee, I forgot to pick up a health drink. This is a bit of a problem, especially now. Oh, come on. I don't want to waste a heat drink right now. I... There was one in there, right? Oh, I've got to make one. Not an issue, though. Not an issue. Nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so it's this way, and then just out and about. Got an energy drink. I might use that, actually. I might need to. Open the door. Open the door. Right, okay. It's not really much different out here than in there, but... Right. This way, somewhere. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Where is it? It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Ah, this is it, then. This is it, in here. There you go. So, the, what was it? It was, a, it was a tank or something, right? Yeah, it's the fuel tank that I just went past. Okay. The base section switches. Got to get the generator working before I can mess with this. Yeah, okay, sure. So, alright, that's where the cable would go. Is that where the... I, I guess that's where the fuse goes. Right. Uh, motor oil? Yeah, I guess that, that went in there. Still needs an electric cable, so I still need to find the fucking radio tower. Can't see shit, but you'd think, you know, I would be able to. But I guess there's no power to it, right? So it's just, it's in the dark. Uh. Alright, come on. Fuck, I left that door open as well. What an idiot. Oh my god. There we go, there we go. What was this door, wasn't it? Can we go out? I think we might be able to go out around the, around the, uh, around the right, to be honest. Yeah, maybe that's how I get to what I think might be a ladder. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm pumping myself up. Here we go. One, two, and three. Let's do it quickly. Close the door though, fuck. Don't think it really matters at this point, but... Right. Right, it is. The ice is so packed it will take hours to break it. Fuck. No, no, not fuck, not fuck. That's what this is for. Yes! Yes it is! Okay. Go on, climb the ladder, climb the ladder. Okay. Okay, I better find that radio. Oh, it is here then. It's here somewhere. Radio tower and quick. Okay, come on. I'm actually out of stamina now, pretty much. Oh, hang on. Shotgun ammo. Nice. Is this it? Okay. 
Up here, let's try it. Okay. Heat's going down pretty rapidly. But I don't know. Ah, is that it? Yes! Electrical cable. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, oh fuck. I don't know if there was full damage, but I've, I've made it, I've made it. Right. Uh, okay. Back we go. I think that's pretty much all we need for the generator, isn't it? It might be worth me going back inside to the uh, to the garage to pick up another heat drink, I'm thinking. I don't know. There was one on that sort of shelf, that top shelf. Although, I guess I'll be going back there anyway soon. Still haven't found the keys. Shit. Uh, yeah. Let's do this now. Let's do this now, while I'm here. Oh. <laughs> I like how the enemies, they just collapse under the, their own weight. Joints just flailing everywhere. Close that up, okay. That's where that goes. Well, oh, no, sorry, that's where that goes. Yep. Everything's in place. So now I can mess with this. Alright, better power only two sections. Uh, one should be the garage. I don't know. I didn't write that down. Okay, I've got, I've got to leave. I've got to leave. I've got to have a another look at that electrical plan, which is in the garage, which I want to go to anyway because I want to pick up a heat drink. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is really difficult. I'm so glad I'm not playing this on hard. Hard mode must be reserved to people that have played this before, right? And I know I've kind of played Frostbite before, but this is much different. Grab it, because I can. Please let there be- yes, there is. Health drink, lovely. Okay. Again, I'm going to wait to use it, but yeah. Um, through the lab, then. You know what, I might as well just leave all the doors open. It's 0% now. It can't go any lower. It's like I'm outside. I just... I just heard something again, didn't I? Something like... Is there someone moving around somewhere? Maybe, maybe. Oh, right, yeah. There it is. Just around here. That's it. Okay. Guess I'll use both of them, right? Pick the sweet spice up. I picked that lock pick up. Right. Down we go. Here it is then. Electrical section layout. This would overlay this then I suppose, wouldn't it? So we want we want C to be one of them. Is e, is e the out the exterior bit? It might be. I don't know. I don't suppose we. W well, I'll tr it's seeing it's seeing something. There's there's only two that we need to activate, right? So I'll just try seeing something until it works. So yeah, through here again. I'm closing the doors because it's just a habit at this point. There's something. There's something just out here. Something. Something's lurking. I don't know where it is, though. I can hear it. It's so weird. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Still need to find the fucking keys, though. I need to go outside the other side, I think. Back to... Oh, my God. This is hard. Okay. All right, let's play around with this. Better focus on just getting power to the garage in one other section. So that's... It's seeing something. C and A, C and B, no, C and D, C and E, that, yes, that does make sense, because that's the exterior, yes, power, right, so it's working, okay, cool, 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 let's get the hell out of here, do we have a, no, we don't have a, an energy drink, but at least now I can see the door, and the other one, let's just, Oh, okay, maybe we don't have a choice. It looks like we're kind of walled in here. I guess I can't run to the other door, but yeah. Uh, close that behind me for whatever reason. Uh, back to the garage, come on. 
Come on. Oh, the stamina. It's just... It's dreadful when you're so cold. Oh, hey there. Oh, beautiful. I do like the shotgun. That was worth picking up. Really was. Uh, okay, still got a couple of heat drinks. Right, so... I mean, the lights aren't on or anything, but hopefully this works. Thank God. Now I just need to find the snowcat keys. Okay. Over here somewhere? Yeah, okay. That's your flashlight. Ah, here we go. Here are the keys. Found the keys. What the hell was that? Oh, bullsh- No. Oh, come on. What was that? Oh, don't make me be out here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, it's time I get the hell out of here. Good idea. Good idea. And that's it. I've done it. I did it. After my encounter with the... That was a polar bear. That was a fucking huge polar bear. I know that they're, they're big anyway, but that was bigger than big. Uh, anyway, after my encounter with the polar bear, I quickly went back into the garage and started up the snowcat. Once I heard the roar of the engine, I instantly left the research base as fast as the snowcat could take me. While I haven't escaped the snowstorm, I at least escaped that nightmare, and I feel like I might have a better chance of making out of this than I did before. I might have lost a finger or two from frostbite, but in the end, I survived. And the credits. Alex, that was a big improvement to the, uh, to the first one, I thought. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed its complexities. I'm very glad I didn't play on hard mode. There were so many times that I was nearly dead. Jeez, Louise. Uh, right, and there were so many lockers. And I only found a few lockpicks. I wonder if there was like as many lockpicks as there were lockers. Or maybe it's just luck with, you know, what you do with the ones you find. I don't know. I really enjoyed that, though. I think, yeah, this was uh, definitely worth me visiting. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.